Hey everyone, it's Lynx. Yesterday I asked people in my Discord to send in pictures of their user interfaces and I wanted to go through some of these UIs and give my opinion on what makes a functional UI and how having a well-designed UI can improve your gameplay in FF14. So without any further ado, let's just jump into it. Um, having a well-designed UI is very important because you need to focus on certain aspects while raiding in Final Fantasy XIV. And if your UI is all over the place and scattered, it's very difficult to have a consolidated, you know, information block or information square of what you need to know around your character. What I value in a UI is keeping everything centralized around your character and all the valuable information right around where you're going to be focusing most of your attention on, and that is your character. The reason that you need to focus on your character so intensely is because dodging AoEs and like mechanics and everything will focus on your individual character in the game. So when you can design your UI to keep your eyes near your character at all times, then you're going to have a much faster reaction time in raids. If we quickly look at my UI here, this is me in a T pull, not sure how long ago, but this is a pretty up to date version of my UI. You can see I have everything around my character that is very important to me. We have my gauge down here, we have the buff bar. The reason why I keep the buff bar so close to my character is because I focus a lot on making sure my damage is inside of raid buffs. And since I play a tank, seeing the timers on my mitigation cooldowns is also very valuable. You want to have your buff bar very close to where you're paying attention because optimizing raid buffs, like I've been saying for my past few videos, is very, very important to doing effective damage. And being able to see every raid buff on your character can impact your rotation. And so if it's like up in the corner and I had to keep looking over and over, I'm actually losing focus of my character. And instead of that, I, I keep my buff bar near my character, like very, very close. It's basically the, the thing that's right next to my character because it's what I paid the most attention to while raiding. On top of that, right under it is the target bar and debuffs. Um, this is very important to me because I will make decisions on should I be hitting this target or that target based on how much HP is left or, you know, is my dot are my dots up on Bard or Summoner. Like, it's very important that I, I can number one see the buffs so I can optimize my rotation on should I be snapshotting my, my, my dots, should I be uh, focusing on holding my cooldowns a bit. And then my debuffs as well so that if I'm playing a dot class or I can see my reprisal and it impacts the way I play the game. My hotbar is pretty far down in my UI but that's just because I focus very intensely on making sure I know my rotation in and out without having to look at it. When I'm raiding very very little of my attention is actually on the hotbar. I usually only look at it for like looking at specific cooldowns. So how long is inner release away? Uh, how far away is my next inner chaos? You know how far away is my next uh, thrill, of, thrill of battle? So looking at my hotbar is not where I focus the most intensely on. It's actually around my character, my buff bar, my gauge, the debuff, sometimes look over my party list. So I keep everything that's very important directly next to my character. All right, let's look into some other people's UIs and I'll give my critiques and how they can uh, improve their UIs. Or if they're doing a good job, then I'll, I'll point out what I think is, is doing really well in their UI. So first up, we have my friend Alex Flares here. This is pretty much what I would consider the worst UI possible. <laughs> Obviously, like it works for him and he's learned to use it, but I mean, look at this. You have the target all the way up here, buffs all the way at the very top, so your focus has to go top of the monitor, and then when you want to look at like your gauge and your cooldowns, you have to go all the way down. So his focus is constantly moving up and down, and it's just, it's going to make him worse as a player. If everything was consolidated around here, let's say if he brought the target bar down, if he brought the buff bar down, you could focus 100% on this little block. And that way you wouldn't have to move your eyes up and down so heavily to pay attention to what you're doing. On top of that, the party's on the left, all the way on the left, and then the target bars are all the way on the right. This is less important if you're playing a DPS class. But for me as a tank, if we look at my UI, um, let me scroll back here, you can see that I keep the target bar or, or the enemy list very, very close because swapping between the enemy list and seeing my threat on the enemies is also very important for tanking. So again, I think it would be very beneficial if he brought the target bar down and then he brought the buff bar down. That way you could focus 100% around your character. It's very important to make sure that your focus is near your character because that's the biggest part of raiding. Dodging AoEs, make sure you're standing in the right spot, making like looking out for other people. Uh, that will all happen around your character model. So when your focus is down at the bottom and up at the top and away from your character model, you're losing that peripheral vision and focus is going to be put elsewhere and it's not a good thing. This is also another great UI for a DPS player. When you're playing a DPS player, your focus is mostly going to be on your hotbar, right? Like the, the debuff, the buffs, and the target, and everything are, are 
kind of less important when you're a DPS player because you're not going to be making too many decisions based on the buff and debuff bar as a tank or a healer might. So everything is around the bottom here. There are a few like you know, hotbar spaces that aren't filled in, but that's fine. It's better to care about a functional UI than a, like, a good-looking one. Um, so I like that the, the gauge is over here. You can see it clearly in your peripheral vision. Uh, there is a bit of a conflicting, like, on the left side is where the most of the rotation is, and the gauge is on the right side. I think if we saw the gauge moved up maybe to this left corner or closer to the 1, 2, 3 in the main cooldowns here, that could improve their UI, but overall, this is a pretty good design. Uh, again, I, I would move the, the gauge a little bit over here, so you'd have to move your eyes less between left and right, left and right, but this is a really good designed UI, and for a DPS player, it has all the information you need. Buff, target, debuff, rotation, gauge, all consolidated. Their HP and MP is at the bottom. You have to care about it a little bit less as a, as a DPS, so that's fine. Having your HP and MP at the bottom, you're not really going to be paying attention to it. You're mostly waiting for your healers to heal you up, right? So this is a great UI. I rate this a 10. Another really good UI here by Aria. Um, it has everything you need, plus added on like the cooldowns over here on the right. So a really common UI design is to have like your cooldowns and the main things you want to focus on on separate bars and then have your rotation down at the bottom. I think this is a really smart design if it helps you because you don't have to really pay attention to your combos when you're playing a melee job, right? For Dragoons specifically, their combos are very, very set in stone. So if you know what combo step you're on, paying attention to what combo you're actually about to hit is less important. What is important is optimizing your cooldowns. I'm not a big fan of it kind of being uh, a little bit transparent, but if that works for them, then I'm that's fine. It's, it's always going to be personal preference. I really like that the target bar is very close. The buffs are at the very, very, like, next to their character, right? So this their, their attention will always be in this little circle. Uh, they are kind of focusing a little bit to the right here, but overall, this is a really good design. You, you have everything you need, the, the, the buffs, the cooldowns, the gauge, everything you will need as a DPS player is very close. Once again, their HP and MP is, is at the bottom. Not great if you're a tank because you will have to make decisions based on your HP, uh, but for a DPS player, this is perfect. I mean, this is like the ideal UI design. All right, let's move back to another not so great UI. I'm not sure what in the world is happening here. There are too many bars, too many happy fun time buttons. Like this is going to ruin your attention while raiding. Why do you have all of the classes, all of the, you know, emotes that you want? Like, this is bloat information. On top of that, the buffs are at the very top again. The target is at the very top. They're like, not important buffs are over here. It's just, their UI is so scattered. The gauge is over on the right. The H, like the, the party's on the left. Like, I have no idea what's going on in this UI. You essentially have like five separate areas of focus here. You have the hot bar and all of its crazy additions that don't need to be there. You have the buff and the, the target bar at the top. You have your gauge on the right side. You have your eight like party on the left side. Like, my eyes are moving all over the screen. It's terrible. On top of that, none of the information on the screen here is anywhere around their character. Their hot bar kind of, but it's like really far down. So when you're paying attention to your character here, I mean, what do you see in your peripheral vision? nothing of importance there's literally zero information around the character and that means their focus is left top right down at the bottom like never in the center that's that's really bad design here we go once again another ui that has just like different areas of paying attention you have the very center of the screen with your gauge you have the bottom right with your your skills and your cooldowns the top left with the party i don't even know where the target bar is going to be probably at the top considering the buffs are at the top i mean Think about it. You're looking at the bottom right to do your rotation. Then you look at the very top to look at your buff bar. Then you're looking at the very bottom to look at your gauge. I mean, your attention is nowhere near your character. This is not a great setup. If we go into the actual game here, I mean, look at what my UI is, is like focused on when my character is close up. You have gauge, buff, target, debuffs, and then rotation at the bottom. I never have to move my attention from the little circle of my character. You understand? This right here that I'm circling with my mouse is all my eyes will ever look at. Sometimes I'll look down here to look at cooldowns, but most of the time it's all around this little circle here. With this UI, when we draw the circle, there's nothing. There is literally zero information in the character circle. If we move to a console UI, this person plays on PlayStation 4, I think this is a pretty good designed UI for a controller. 
you have all the buffs that you could ever want to pay attention to, or, or the cooldowns, I mean. So you don't really have to pay attention to the, the cross hotbar here. You have everything you need on this little bar. You have the target right next to you. The HP is at the bottom, which is not my favorite design, because as a tank, you will want to pay attention to your HP. But it can work out. The gauge is going to be next to the right here, so when they're paying attention to their character, they can clearly see the gauge. That's good design. The focus target, a little bit off to the side, but... It's not supposed to be in the very middle, right? The focus target is something that you'll pay attention to in your peripheral vision. So for a console UI, this is really good. All right, this will be the last UI we look at. And it's like very in the middle. Uh, you have everything on the right here. Again, bloat information, things you'll never have to care about while playing the game. A bunch of emotes, a bunch of class swapping, all your mounts, like performance stuff. These are things that honestly, you don't need on your screen. I do like this setup here though. For a healer, what you really need to pay attention to is the specific cooldowns that are going to like impact your healing, right? Your rotation is two buttons. You put up your dot and then you cast a Malefic in this scenario. So I like this little setup here. You can see your, your HP and MP. MP is important for healing. You have all the healing cooldowns. That's important. I think the target bar being at the top, eh, it's pretty okay for a healer because I'm assuming they're mostly paying attention to the party list. When you're healing, you're not really paying attention to the target bar. You're paying attention to the HP of the party. I don't know where their party list is on the screen, but if we assume it's on the left side here, then I think this is a really, really good healer UI. Everything that you need to know as a healer is here. And then let's assume the party is here. You have peripheral vision of that. I don't really think it's a great idea to lose all that information away from, or move the information away from your character. Uh, I think if the party, the party was over here, that'd probably be better. Um, but as far as like keeping everything in a little circle, over here is not terrible. This is great for a healer. Um, I like the, the little consolidated cooldowns and I think this is this is a pretty good UI. It can be improved by removing all the bloat information and depending on where your party list is, whether it's on the left or the right, will impact your peripheral vision of your character as keeping your eyes on your character is always important. But this is pretty good. Finishing it off with my UI. Do I think it's perfect? Absolutely not. UIs are very personal, they are very subjective, and your UI needs to be tailored around what you want to pay attention to. What I want to pay attention to is my gauge, my buffs, the target, and the, the HP of my character. And that is all very, very close next to each other. On top of that for tanking, what I pay attention to is the target list. Okay, I, I look at these little, these little colors here. Yellow means I'm close on threat. Uh, red means I have threat. That's very important. When I'm tanking a dungeon, I will look at this this target list and if I'm losing threat on any mob, then that's very, very apparent and close to me because it's close to where I'm paying attention. Remember, when designing a UI, you want your focus on the center of the screen, okay? Assuming that's where your character is. As we saw with the guy where the camera panned down, maybe adjust your UI if your camera is panned a bit, but uh, try to design your UI around your character, okay? When you're losing sight of your character, you'll lose sight of AoEs, you'll lose sight of where you're standing, you won't have as precise movement. It's a disaster. I don't want to bully my friend Alex because he's a good friend of mine, but definitely this is the absolute worst setup you can have, right? It looks good at a glance, but think about where your eyes are going. The top, the bottom, the top, the bottom, that's nowhere near your character. When we draw a circle around the character, there's nothing, right? Your eyes are constantly going to be beating between the bottom and the top of the screen. That's terrible. You want to keep everything centralized. Well, that about wraps it up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. If you did, leave a like. Let me know. If you didn't like this and you like my scripted content better, leave a dislike. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with my content. Follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter for tweets. Check out my Patreon if you want to support me further. Join my Discord if you want to take part in these, uh, you know, fun event videos uh, and, you know, engage with me directly. I try to respond to everybody that messages me on Discord and that's the best place to get in contact with me. But yeah, that's all I've got for now, guys. Peace!